Hi, Russ Curran here, owner of epigeneticsandnutrition.com, and I'm coming to you today talking about a subject that is vitally important for you to pay attention to. This is so critical because it's a growing concern and its, it's exposure is reaching um, a lot of different food groups today, and that's the subject is genetically modified food, okay? So first, what is it? What is genetically modified food? Or GMOs, genetically modified organisms, okay? First of all, you need to understand it's not from God, it's not from the earth, it's not from nature, it is man-made, it's a hybrid. So how do they make it? They take a natural, God-given seed, and they take something created in a lab, and they merge the two, okay? And that creates the genetically modified organism or food. And they're doing this in various different foods that I'll share with you in a second. And um, it's, it's a major concern because it causes illnesses, sickness, uh, all kinds of disease. It is not good. You are not intended to eat something made by man. God took care of that for us. So that's what you need to un understand. Um, now, why, uh, why did they create genetically modified food or organisms? Okay, here's the two reasons that they give you. And when I say they, I mean my companies like Monsanto, and there's a few others, but Monsanto is a giant creating billions in sales every year uh, for all the wrong reasons, okay? Here are the two reasons why they said they, they needed to create it, is to increase crop yields, so to yield more food per, per acre, if you will, uh, of crops, and two, to reduce and, and use much less herbicides. And herbicides are deadly, we all know that, they're sprayed on virtually everything. Uh, but that's been scientifically proven not to have occurred, either one of those. They're not producing any more crops, and they're not using any less herbicide, okay? Uh, it's also increasing cost to farmers, and here's why. Because with the seeds that they're creating, they're, what, they're what's called sterile seeds, and they need to be purchased again every year by the farmer. Whereas prior, in the real way of doing farming back 200 years, they simply reused what was already created and replanted those seeds for the next season. <laughs> so it's actually increasing costs, which are putting local farmers out of business, which is one of the goals of Monsanto as well, okay? Now, there's been no reduction in pesticides as well. So herbicides and pesticides are still thriving. And here's something key to understand. Monsanto is actually the creator of Roundup, you know, that popular thing we all spray on weeds, or we used to spray on weeds, um, but one thing to understand about Roundup is it's actually in 75% of all processed food. So all that food you buy in a grocery store that comes in a box and a package wrapped in plastic, 75% of those foods you're buying have a Roundup, that stuff you spray on weeds to kill, in that food. Already proven. Um, and, and as a side note, and I, I took some notes because this is really important. Uh, Roundup has been shown to cause placental and embryonic damage to cells. So that so that's to to newborn newborn babies, you know, new births, uh, embryonic cells, and it's used Roundup on 80% of all genetically modified crops. Okay, and and like I said, that's in a ton, 75% of processed food. So you need to understand that. Now, GMO foods are harming wildlife with the corn. And it impairs the growth of aquatic insects. I mean, it's destroying several things uh, in our natural life cycle. GMO food is linked to deaths and sicknesses and illnesses. And GMO foods cause the following. Allergies, they're toxic, carcinogenic, which is causing cancer causing. They're anti-nutritional. There's no nutritional value in these things, no matter what they tell you. Um, like I said, they cause cancer. And they're, they're already being proven to cause super viruses that could eventually wipe out hundreds of thousands to millions of people across the planet. So uh, there is no good that comes from genetically modified food. Now, here are some of the things to look for when you're reading labels, okay? Maltodextrin, soy lecithin, high fructose corn syrup, I've already talked about that quite a bit, zucchini, crookneck squash, and papayas from Hawaii. These are all known to be genetically modified food. Those are the first things to watch out for. And anything on the labels with those ingredients in them, do not buy, stay away from. Aspartame, uh, which is terrible for the brain, 
or better known as NutraSweet or Equal, or any of those packets, all genetically modified. Your body can't process it. It's been shown to link to cause Alzheimer's. Stay away from it. Now, uh, current, current GMO, making up the largest portion of GMOs, food produced that is, is soybeans and corn. Okay? And you, you won't always see this on the labels. They're, not, they're trying to pass legislation to get them to label them as GMOs. But anything that isn't certified organic by USDA standards could have and, pr and probably does have genetically modified foods. So what does that label look like? Well, here's the first example. Here's coconut oil, okay? And this is something you absolutely have to have in your diet anyway. But I wanted to show you the label. Uh, it's right over here, okay? And it's USDA organic. So when you see that stamp on a product, you know that for sure, okay, it's organic, 100%. So you, you're not going to need to worry about that so much. You're taken care of. What you need to watch for is in ingredients that where they say some of the ingredients are organic. Because even those have been shown to be linked to GMO foods. And I'll give you a few examples of those. Cashy Goline. There's a popular name, right? Uh, Nutritious Living, General Mills Kicks, K-I-X, High Low, Mothers, even Nature's Path, and I've had some of their products, they've had trace amounts of GMOs in them, and they're labeled as organic. Not USDA, like I just showed you, but some of the ingredients. So it's so critical to understand the distinction, okay? Now, another little um, uh, tip I wanted to give you, health tip, is stevia. And it comes in a liquid form and a powder form. Um, and all you need is a few drops. Stevia is a natural sweetener, okay, and it's used to replace sugar or high fructose corn syrup or agave or anything like that. Stevia is from a plant. God made that for us, and it's a hundred times sweeter than sugar. So you just need a couple of drops in whatever you're in your coffee, in your tea, and whatever you're drinking. Um, so I wanted to point that out to you and, and show you another label on some organic fruit. Again, here is that USDA label, okay? You can see it right there, plain as day. That tells you that this fruit was not sprayed with herbicides or pesticides or insecticides, and you're all good. You're gonna have real, natural, <laughs> organic fruit grown by, made by God in your body, getting all of that nutrition. Now, if, if you, you know, some say organic food, it's really expensive. Well, you know, what's the cost to your health if, if you're not going that way and, and you're ingesting all those chemicals. So start to invest in your health. It's very important. Spend a little bit more on, a, on organic food. If you don't have time to go shopping all the time and get all these wonderful fruits and veggies that are organic, try something like this. This is something my family and I use. It's called Nature Burst or Natural Burst. And it is, um, it is some of the best nutrition on the planet all in one scoop that you put in your morning smoothie or afternoon smoothie or in your oatmeal even. Anything nutritious. And what this gives you is an amazing, it, it gives you all the nutrition you need in a day. It's got resveratrol, quercetin, broccoli, brown rice protein. So there's no whey, there's no soy, there's, it's gluten free, wheat grass. I mean the list goes on and on and on. And I'll give you a link for that. You can check it out. But if you're, if you're not getting six to eight servings of organic fruits and veggies in your diet every day, which 95% of us aren't, you need something like this in your diet, okay? There are other great products on the market. This is just one we happen to use. Uh, so take the time to do your research and get that in your body. Now, let me wrap up with a couple of key points. So a couple of steps to take to avoid GMOs, genetically modified food. Read the labels. Like I just said, make sure it's USDA organic, okay? Buy organic fruits and vegetables. Don't buy corn that's conventionally grown or that it's not labeled organic. Don't buy soybeans that are not labeled um, or USDA organic, okay? Uh, conventional fruit has a four-digit label code on it. Organic fruit has a five-digit label code on it. Genetic food has neither of those. So you know if it doesn't have a four-digit or a five-digit code, it's most likely genetically modified fruit. <laughs> you want to stay away from that completely. Um, so I, I think that covers all the points. Hopefully you're starting to understand the importance of this. I mean, guys, 
it's it's horrible and and it potentially has disastrous effects for our future generations so if you haven't signed the petition against uh, Monsanto and by the way congratulations to Boulder Colorado a big shout out to Boulder Colorado they took a stance and they passed a law there will be no genetically modified food grown in Boulder Colorado and by the way all of Europe has already banned GMOs gone the United States is actually looking state by state to pass legislation to make genetically modified food kind of as common as, as a coffee, all right? It's disgusting and it's sick and it's got to stop. So raise your awareness level, people. Start thinking about what you're feeding your body. Put the right stuff in it if you want to be around to enjoy your life and your kid's life and, and, and so on. So with that, I hope you got something very valuable out of this. I'm here to help you. If you have any questions whatsoever, uh, send me an email, call me directly. I'm here to help you. Cheers to your health.